we're very happy and excited to be joined here today by Mr. Stefan Schweinfest, who leads the work of DESA's Statistics Division. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Your division prepares the annual MDG report tracking the progress of the eight Millennium Development Goals. With the 2015 deadline just around the corner, can you share with us some of the main lessons learned from MDG monitoring? Well, I would say the MDGs have definitely been good for statistics because, I mean, they have highlighted the uh, uh, need of solid and good information for policy decision making. Uh, this framework of goals, uh, targets and indicators uh, is definitely a framework of accountability and has and has put the importance of statistics at the forefront. I would say uh, statistics is as important an element of a national infrastructure as, as there are roads or bridges and so. So working on the MDG report for our office has been really one of the key uh, activities over the last uh, 13 years. And uh, we have had the privilege of leading this interagency and expert group that brings together the best statisticians, I would say, and the best statistics of the entire UN system for the annual report of the Secretary General. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our partners in the UN system for this unprecedented collaborative effort. As the post-2015 development agenda is being developed, how is your division involved and how are you working to prepare a, mo a monitoring framework to measure future goals? This is a very important point because perhaps one of the lessons learned from the last uh, round was that statisticians need to be involved in the process from the very beginning, actually definitely already in the formulation of the framework, not only in the monitoring phase. And bearing that in mind, the Statistical Commission this year in 2013 has created a so-called Friends of the Chair group, which brings together um, about 20 very dedicated uh, countries and their chief statisticians to work very closely with us on two main topics. One is to develop uh, broader measures of progress, which we will need in the context of the sustainable development agenda. And second is to be just involved in the many ongoing processes uh, right now in order to ensure that uh, a solid uh, measuring framework is part of the new uh, development agenda. In this context, um, in the high-level uh, panel report, uh, there was a request for a data revolution, as you may know. And I'm very pleased with that type of attention giving to my professional uh, area. And I understand this to mean that we will have to make a, a massive concerted effort to help countries to strengthen national statistical systems. In statistics, unfortunately, there are no shortcuts, uh, there are no quick fixes. I mean, what we are trying to measure is development. And so we have to have not only a measurement at one point in time, but we will have to have measurements at several points in time, annually, every three to five years, over the next 15 years. And I'm always saying we are not taking pictures, we are actually making a movie. So uh, when we talk about sustainable development, I always say we also need sustainable statistics to support sustainable development. Can you tell us about any new innovative work that your division is developing? Well, I mean, being innovative is one of the fundamental challenges of our profession because we are measuring the world and the world around us is changing continuously. So in many areas we have new developments and let me mention perhaps a few that may be interesting. Uh, one is we have just launched a new initiative on global geospatial information management where we are trying to bring the geospatial community together and also to bring the 
cartographers and geospatial uh, community together with the statisticians because we believe that this marriage, as I call it, the marriage between geospatial information and statistical information will create very powerful uh, analytical tools. Um, another area where we have, uh, we're doing a lot of innovative work right now is we have developed what we call the system of environmental economic accounting, which uh, is a tool that allows us to uh, jointly analyze uh, the environment and the economy and uh, their interaction. Um, one area that we are working on also continuously is the area of improving gender statistics. Uh, we have a global gender statistics program and we have uh, developed there, for instance, to give an example, uh, in new indicators on violence against women. We have also uh, uh, launched a new project together with UN Women which is called Evidence and uh, Data for Gender Equality. Uh, called rather appropriately, I would say, EDGE. Um, another area where we have uh, been working on is uh, what is called uh, big data, because the IT developments have given us the opportunity to have access and, uh, to lots of data elements. Some of them will be useful for our statistical and monitoring purposes, others are not. Uh, but we as statisticians have to look at this new uh, big reservoir of information and we have done so working with the countries, harvesting their experiences in the area of big data and we will be discussing this at the forthcoming Statistical uh, Commission. What do you find most rewarding when working with statistics within the UN? Well, I have been in UN statistics for 24 years now and um, statistics may not sound like the most sexy area to work in. Actually, when I mention at a dinner conversation that I'm a statistician, that's usually the end of the dinner conversation. I think I always say statistics is one of those quiet areas where the United Nations is actually working very, very well. We have a lot to be proud of. I think um, we have collected billions and billions of development data here in the United Nations over the last 67, 68 years. And this is a real treasure for the United Nations. I would also say that the intellectual property that we have developed, all these statistical norms that make it actually possible for data to be compared between different countries, like the system of national accounts that is now being followed by all countries around the world, those are important assets for the United Nations. Um, I always consider my professional peers my family. We call it actually the statistical family, and I believe it's because we have a shared value system, a shared uh, uh, sense of professionalism. And for me, walking into a conference room almost anywhere on this globe and seeing a couple of familiar faces, uh, colleagues and friends who have also worked very often for a very long time in the area of statistics uh, and being part of this professional community or family is perhaps for me the most uh, rewarding aspect of my job. Thank you very much Mr. Schweinfest for joining us today and for speaking with SNews. It's been my pleasure, thank you.